Hi guys, this is Farz and welcome back to Farzalozi. And in this tutorial, I will show some Photoshop's hidden tips and tricks. I will share 10 tips and tricks uh, for you. These are very, very useful. Pros use this type of tips and tricks very frequently, almost every time they are in Photoshop. So this is very, very important tutorial. So now, let's get started. So, tips number one is remove text or remove watermark from any images in a second. So, let's see. Okay, uh, we often see this kind of watermark, this kind of big watermark, big text watermark. Uh, so, sometimes it's annoying, but believe me, uh, to remove this type of watermark is very easy and you can do it in second. Uh, okay, let's do. First, select the magic one tool and select any word or something like this so look at this now it is selected then go to select and select similar and now look at this every text is selected it's very easy okay now then again go to the select and modify and expand and expand by two pixels it's perfect okay and now again go to the edit and select here content our fill press ok and look at this press ctrl and d to deselect look at this the text is gone look at the watermark before and after it's pretty simple easy and 100% accurate so this is a very useful one and my second tips is change your brush color quickly almost when you are working on order to do nothing you can change your brush color normally what you do we go there and select color from here like this this and also we um so some color from the color source or color panel sometimes it's maybe distracting to select color uh, to go to the options and again select the color then again you need to pick color then again you have to go to those options sometimes it's maybe distracting uh, so i will show you a method where you can select color uh, when you are on um, working you don't need to go to those options to select the color every time so to pick color very quickly press and hold shift and alter on your keyboard and then right click on your mouse and look at this look at this you can select any color from here and paint press and hold shift plus alter and then right click on your mouse and pick color very quickly it's very easy and sometimes it is very useful and now the tip number three is power of the space bar space bar is pretty big button in our keyboard right so it has to be big in terms of work also yes it is it is a very handy tool in photoshop so now let's see the first one i want to show you uh, you can use space bar as a navigator tool let's zoom in and now press and hold space and look at this there is a hand comes on your skin and you can click and drag like this it is very useful really it is a very very handy tool in terms of retouching and painting i think this is one of the most used tool in photoshop this is very easy to navigate so this is the one use of spacebar and now i want to show you the second one okay now let's use the elliptical marquee tool and make a selection around the eyeball but look at this it's not perfect right so you need to move the selection to move the selection press and hold the space and now you can move the selection like this look at this move here and there and do a perfect selection like this so you can easily move any selection and to perfect selection by holding the space bar okay now the third one let's pick the pen tool and create a path like this okay look at this it's not perfect so we want to move this anchor point right so again press control D space and look at this you easily can move the anchor point and you can add just so you can move your selection by holding the space bar you can move your anchor point by holding the space bar you can navigate on your canvas by holding the space bar so it is a very useful button 
for us. Now the next tips is rotate the clone stamp tool. Sometimes it's very useful. Uh, so like this in this picture, we want to okay. Let's pick the clone stamp tool. Maybe we want to remove the highlighted area. So if you press and hold Alt and select the source and just paint, look at this. It's not perfect. It's it's not happening, right? So we want to rotate the selection. Okay, press Ctrl and Z to undo. Create a new layer. Okay, that's fine. Current and blue. And select the sample. And then select and go to the clone source panel option. You can find it here. And now change it to 180. That's good. And now if you press and hold Alt and select the source like this. And now just paint okay i think i think yeah it looks fine look at this so it's gone look at this before and after this was the before this is after it's very useful okay if we use it in a zero degree angle let's see what happens so click and select the source and now look at this it's not happening so sometimes it's need to be rotated the angle of the clone stamp tool it's very useful now the next tip is rotate the preview of your canvas so it is very useful it's very very useful when you are retouching and when you uh, do some digital painting work or painting work uh, this canvas rotating is gives you more flexibility so it is very handy in terms of retouching and digital painting okay let's see uh, i want to rotate the canvas for this image so press and hold r and just click and rotate it is very simple but it is very useful in terms of retouching work so let's zoom in and look at this so you can now paint here and here so it is very easy and useful one and press and hold R again and here you can see the reset view. If you click on reset view, it will go back to the normal position. And our next tips is quick zoom. Sometimes it's very annoying to press Ctrl and plus again and again and again and again to zoom. So to do it in a simple step, press and hold Z and right click on your mouse. And now if you drag it to the right, right to me actually. So if you drag it to the right, it will zoom in and if you drag it to the left left of mine if you drag it to the left it will zoom out so drag it to the right zoom in drag it to the left zoom out it's very easy and quick like you want to zoom in or around the eyes just press and hold z and click and drag look at this it's really simple and quick so i love this one and then the next tip is to type a view at the same time so it's very useful in terms of retouching and manipulation it gives a two view okay so for this go to the window option and 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 select the arrows here and select the new window option so it will create you a, another window just like this then again go to the window and arrows and here select uh to a vertical and now look at this you have two window two different view actually this is a single image in two preview like if you uh, paint on this one look at this this window also be affected so this is a single picture to view it is very useful in terms of retouching and manipulation and now our next tips is get the perfect skin tone in a quick time okay look at this image it's not perfect right little bit of uh, greenish little bit of bluish so I want to fix this and you can do it in a second so go to the curves adjustment layer and you can see there are three eyedropper tool one is for highlights one is for mid-tone and one is for shadows so click the mid-tone uh, mid-tone eyedropper tool and now zoom in and select the white portion of your picture the pure white portion okay let's choose from the eye area this this one i think this one would be perfect so click and and see it's done wow magic it's done look at this this was the before and this is after you just need a one click to fix the skin tone it's very useful and our next tips is 
the ultimate undo option. Sometimes it is lifesaver, right? Okay, let's see. Press Ctrl and K to open the preference option. So this is our option. And here, coming to the performance option, right? And now, the history state. Just increase the value of history state, maybe 100 or maybe whatever you want. And now press OK and it's done. And our last tips is add glossy shine. Okay, look at this. You maybe want to add some shine on the lips. Maybe it will look good. So pick your brush tool. So now create a new layer and paint with the white brush tool just like this. I think I think it will work. And double click on the right side of your layer boom and here you will find a blend if option and here underlining layer so just click this little icon and drag it to the right like this and look at this and now press and hold alter and click on the middle of this little triangle it will split and now click and drag like this look at this it's perfect right i think it looks perfect to me okay now press ok let's zoom out and decrease the opacity a little bit i think around 50 percent looks fine look at this before and after it will create a glossy shine to the lips so this is all about the 10 tips and tricks of photoshop Comment your favorite one, which is your favorite. Don't forget to comment. And if you love this tutorial, hit the like button, leave your comments, and don't forget to subscribe.